I, 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 Golf TV, waking up your game. Dave Marsh, iGolf TV, back once again. Now I'm really putting some intensity into these videos for you because I want you to look at the information that's available here. I want you to really understand the information because if you understand what I'm telling you, boy, have you got one heck of a chance to build a golf swing. Now I'm gonna recap a little bit on what we've done so far and I'm gonna take you into the final piece of the swing. So from a dress, we know we've got awesome solid posture. Then from here, you can see we're just going to rotate away with the, ar with the shoulders, not the arms, the hands or the club head. We're going to hit that first line, then boom, hit that second point where the ball is about 20 inches away. Then we're going to rotate into the top of our swing. You can see I've got almost no leg action. I'm creating a fantastic turn. I'm building the resistance in my golf swing. I'm building explosive power by basically rotating the upper half of my body against my lower half. So once I hit the top of the backswing, I'm now gonna to begin to drive with the right knee and the left hip. That drops the club nicely on plane and gets me into a position here where I can basically square the club with my body and then I can begin to extend from here. Now the final part of the swing is once we've got the club extended through to this position here, we wanna just keep turning. We don't want to stop and let our hands take over. We want to just keep rotating this right shoulder forward. You look at guys like Adam Scott, Trevor Immelman, this right shoulder is rotating so far, it basically rotates right the way round like this. Especially for you younger players out there, we want to work on getting this right shoulder driven down, stay low through the ball and keep driving it forwards. You can see me holding that position there. Now in previous videos you would have watched in iGolf TV, you know what a big advocate I am of holding the finish. And this is such a major part of golf that I see probably 99% of amateurs not doing. I'm amazed when I see even top pros not doing it. Look at guys like McElroy, look at guys like Luke Donald, Gary Woodland, some of the best swingers in the game. They extend through the golf ball and boom, they lock in their finish. I, I like to use the term with all of my students, we're gonna stay still until the ball stops moving. This is something that really you wanna work on in your game. I, I hear from so many people, they want more consistency, and you know what? They don't take the time to put more consistency into their practice. You've got a chance to be different. You've got a chance to listen to this advice and really make a difference from all the other guys that you're playing with week in, week out, no matter what level you're playing at. So let's just recap this final bit of information again. Once we get from this position here, we're gonna extend through and we're gonna just keep rotating. The final point I wanna to add to you is that I definitely wanna see these hands coming above the shoulder for the majority of players. You do get some Matt Cooches out there that are gonna turn very low and get the club almost behind them. You see on this angle from there, getting the club coming down here. That isn't really something that I'm into. I want this club being extended forwards and nice high hands to here. And obviously, if you can continue to rotate, go ahead and do that. But this really is gonna help you to put the finishing touches to a fantastic swing that we've built. I've really broken it down for you to practice it step by step. But obviously, the sooner we can begin to put these steps together, the sooner you're gonna be able to go out there and swing the golf club the same every time. So let's just finish on the fact that you don't need to go to the range to practice all these different drills that I'm showing you. Find time in your day to go out there and put 20 swings in. I promise you, if you put 20 swings in, you'll probably do 40. And this is what's really gonna help you to build this phenomenal golf swing. Keep doing it, put the practice in, and take action. Now you're watching iGolf TV, where we're waking up your game.